Hey Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by to watch our Divi documentation video. So this video is gonna teach you how to use Divi's powerful pre-made layouts. Now these are design mockups that we've included within the Divi library that you can quickly load up with just a few clicks of the button to create a page mockup. Now the content that's already in there is strictly for place holding. What you're gonna to wanna to do is then swap out your content for that content and make a few changes for things like colors and animations and all the fun effects that we've built into the Divi design panels. So this specific video will show you how to get that process started and then provide you with one example of how to sort of take a pre-made layout to that next level. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Divi's predefined layouts with the Visual Builder. So to get started, I've created a new page and I've titled it Pre-Made Layout Test. And of course, I need to click on the Use Divi Builder button. When I do that, I always have the backend builder as a nice option. I can get in here and do anything that the Divi Builder is capable of. Uh, but I personally like to use the Visual Builder because what that does uh, when you click on that button there is it actually overlays the Divi Builder design options right on top of the page you're using or you're designing on the front end. So what this means is any change I make, I can see it happen live. Um, and see how that change affects what I'm working on in real time. So this is a huge benefit. And just like the back end, you have your uh, section, row, and module settings all accessible with the click of a button. And uh, this is normally where, if I were building a page from scratch, I would just click this to get started by adding a new um, module there. But instead, I'd like to use a predefined layout, something that gives me a nice starting point for my design. To do that, I need to go down here to the Divi Builder uh, settings on the front end. And when I click this button, it kind of unloads or uh, expands the full settings. And it's this plus icon I'm looking for. Uh, when I click that, that's my load from library button. And the first tab in the options here is called predefined layouts. And all these buttons are different predefined layouts that we've created that you can load in the click of a button to give you a nice place to start. So you can do everything from a sales page, a team page, an agency homepage, portfolio, contact about. Um, of course, we've got our home pages and shop and blog. Literally every page you would need in a standard website, we've got it here in some type of version that you can use to kind of kickstart your design. And because I want to replace the content that's already up here, I'm gonna leave this, this option ticked that says replace existing content. But let's just say I had a hero section um, already designed up there and I just wanted to append or add um, the, the layouts here to the bottom of that. Now, if I wanted to do that, I would untick this and then anything I click would just be added below whatever I've already designed. Now, because I do wanna replace it, I'll keep that ticked and then I'll go ahead and click homepage basic. And just like that, we have a full page worth of content, a, a design that we can start to customize and really make our own. And all we have to do to do that is begin accessing the settings, whether that be on the uh, section, row, or module level. Or if we just want to edit some text, we can go ahead and highlight things and just get right in there and start making changes in real time. It's really that easy. I mean, we can do all kinds of stuff. We can even adjust, you know, the different font weights. We can get in here to the settings, go through our content settings, design and advanced, and all of that's available um, right off the bat for us to start customizing. Um, just to give you an idea of what's possible with basically leaving this design as is, but just changing colors, the text, and adding some photos, I've gone ahead and mocked up a design so you can see the power of these pre-made layouts to really quickly create a branded um, version or branded design for yourself and your website. So uh, I decided I had this concept of a, of a bakery or a baking group rather. And all I've done is added three colors, kind of a light, medium, and darker color, and some custom photos and copy. And as I laid those in here, um, you really get this sense that this is a, a customized design with uniquely branded colors and photos. And, and it all started with this pre-made layout that I was able to um, implement in seconds. So that is how using Divi's pre-made layouts work.